back again like It affected everything, you know, because Capital Steve's for Pro Era, you know, he was the architect. I say it like this, group, every community of friends, we all have what this called conductors in life. Everybody is on like a train, you know what I'm saying, on a train car. Steve's was our conductor, you know what I'm saying? So we all followed him, he all paved the road and... You know what I'm saying? He paved our mindsets, like our ideologies and whatnot. He influenced everything. So when we lost him, it's like we really lost a part of ourselves. Like I said, I was never following my life, but he was the one person who I followed, who I knew if I followed, this person wouldn't lead me to no wrong. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the strongest people that I knew. So when that happened, it's just like I said. I just, I just enjoyed like his way of thinking. Like he just always was like an abstract thinker and shit. Yeah, definitely. He, his curiosity and shit too. Yeah. It's like I spent years thinking irrationally when I was like probably 14 to 17, like growing up, like having real out there thoughts. And um, when I was around 17 is when I really started to buckle down and try and find like a rational scientific approach to like spirituality. And from doing that, I started to lose, uh, in a, I started to lose like the ability to like um, really think freely. I started to really think in a box because I didn't want anything to seem crazy. And what Steve was able to bring back for me was, yeah, thinking out of the box again. Like, cause he really wanted to do some crazy shit that just was like, eh, that's a little crazy, but you know, <laughs> we could do this maybe. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he made me, he, he brought back abstract thinking for me. Imagine just watching somebody with so much potential, energy built up inside him, and to just be gone as an entity, just the hardest thing. Like, I could cry right now. It's like one day you're with your best friend, and then the next day you lose him. And there's a whole spiritual connection. At the end of the day, that's like the leader of something dying. Mm -hmm. And then what are the other people forced to do? All become leaders. So yeah. it only made us become stronger. But at the end of the day, we always honor him. If you go to my show, Nick's show, Joey's show, CJ show, there's always a little segment for Steve or something of that nature. One of my favorite uh, experiences in the studio was with Capital Steve's. He, um, he was just in the corner sitting on the floor, like mad quiet the whole time. And I played the, uh, the beat for Like Water. And he was like, yo, I got something to put on the mic. And he just came through, spit the thing, spit in one verse. And it just, it was like that verse was written for that beat. I watched these pull off shit like that, like, numerous times, like. Because he was watching somebody do the impossible. He knew, like, he just seen everything before it was to happen. And he was so ahead of his time. Like, I didn't get anything he did. I just knew he was doing something that people would be scared in their life to do. And that's why I knew he, that was the right way. And, and it's, it's crazy because it's even like now, 2017, current day, like the whole time I've still been dealing with the pain, like now I'm, I'm a little more open to even, like I'm just getting open. Oh, yeah. Five years later, you feel me now? Like, like you know, I've been seeing people like, yeah, you been talking about these, yo, like, you know, I'm coming to the point where it's like, all right, like, you know, it needs to be known, like, it just put me in such a slump, you know, it, it just put me in such a, a negative, uh, you know, just place in my life. Like, you know, I was depressed after yeah. I lost my best friend, you know what I mean? At 17 years old, like, that was something that I couldn't, that was a pain that, you know, I couldn't even fathom. Now, what, what, not only was he my best friend, but he was my older brother that I never had. Mm. You know, he was the only person in my whole life that I felt like I could follow because I've never been a follower. Mm -hmm. I, I never followed anybody. Kids always wanted to come hang out with me. But when I met him, like I, it's like I almost seen an older me in him. And that's what made me just like trust him and like that's what made our bond grow oh. the way it did. Check. Yo, this verse was ghost written by Capital Steve's I'm high cause I fly with Loriana's angel wings Not cause I smoke weed, we in the era of the pros If you're peeping this, your speakers were 47 karat gold so. Chilling with Steve's at that time, it was just really personal It was like, 
it was really me hanging out with my best friend and watching this this dude that I thought was the craziest rapper alive. He's really just spinning and explaining things that other people weren't talking about. Flows were ridiculous. And it was just chilling at pretty much the homie studio, going to record, and he would tell me before he recorded, it, like, check this out, what you think of this? And I'd be bumping this shit, and I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, fires, and I'd be like, sometimes it'd be a little ridiculous for me to be like, damn, this is my fucking brother spitting the most fire bars I ever heard in my life. I'm like, yo, but it was always like dope. It was always like on some 47 shit. It was just brothers chilling. Spitting, talking about real life shit, and just trying to change the world. But it was always, it always felt real, man. He would, you know what I mean? It was effortless. He would write something, and it'd be the best thing I've ever heard. It was, it was, he was, it was more of the the whole knowledge of self awareness and self learning, and just questioning anything in reality. Like he'd never tell you what's right. He'd just tell you to question what you think is right. You know what I mean? And how could you not? And the way he put it, it make you rethink life itself. You know what I mean? And that's what he was focusing after that. After. The music was just too easy for him, you know what I mean? He, he wanted to keep teaching people different things, you know what I mean? And that's what 47 became about, you know what I mean? Can't forget about the AK, though. Everything around him, to him, was corruption. And that's why he had, you know, he, he wanted that AK there. It's AK-47, you know what I mean? The 47 was going to save everybody from the AK. It turned out to be a beautiful thing. That's the AK-47. It was intended to be two parts. AK was the American corruption. And the 47 stood for your chakras and balance, you know what I mean? Your fourth foot, your heart, and your seventh is your crown chakra. And between you know your, your mind and your heart, if you could balance that, then you can master the corruption that it comes with it. You understand? And it was as simple as that. You know what I mean? But 47, I think, is any, it's, it's whatever somebody needs it to be. If you need it to be a crutch, it's your crutch. You need it to be something dope, it's something dope. You need it to be music, that's what it is. I mean, it, it can work for so many purposes. You know what I mean? Just rest in peace, capital steeds, bro. Just believe in your dreams, man. Like, you know, once you come in of age, you pick up a lot of things on the way. You know, you pick up a lot of pebbles and stones. But um, I have to say, my biggest inspiration on that side is definitely capital steeds. You know, he, he, he put me onto a lot. You know, he, he put me on my whole chocolate game. So, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna be doing Steez Day for um for Joey Badass and for Capital Steez because I love Capital Steez and I love the whole pro era moment. Yo, I gotta say Steez is one of those like rap talents. The closest thing to Steez to me is Big L because Big L was cut off short, but right. he still got a, two albums up and people got his music. The thing with Steez is, is like he's gonna always get heard through Joey and what they do, but he never got. Yo, he has one mixtape and that's it. He never got to go to to finish a project in a real studio right. or to like really. And it's it's really horrible. I said cold red, cold red, duck my keep throwing eggs. Niggas wanna try and keep up. I tell them go ahead. Every verse I was spitting was going overhead. So I switched it up and started working on the flow instead. Capital Steve. You already know who I've been, third eye wide, they should've let the flow ride in, shit Let him begin to blend in with the pen and cut through it like the sun in the wind, shit I got them wavelengths on point, let's make shift mischief Causing a menace up in the basement, hazmatic aura, I'm not the one to play with Steve's been tight with the flow since the slave ships I'm the savior, he's obviously gifted Trigonometry, analogies, and twisting the system 13 different dimensions, and the rest get swept in Out the flames, meditate and ascend to levels only God can claim. One, 
or light another fucking doobie. This life is just a movie, so I'm rolling with the groupies. This dimension, I'ma blend in, decide to let my pen win. Merge with the earth, cause time travel is sent them. Shit, my eyes lower than the frequency, increase the beat. Yeah, I'm a lost soul, but I speak in pieces. Let me chop it up, got the sticky, got the Dutch. Used to hear voices, but I can't, cause we loud as fuck. Probably cause my pop wasn't rounding up. Capital, it's over 47 and we rounding up. Beast Coast Hound started howling cause it sounded.